Hello everybody, welcome to another episode of the Fat Vegan Chef. Now before I begin, I want to remind you to go to tfvc.org forward slash sub to be reminded of new episodes. You'll be sent an email and your email address will be used for no other purposes other to let you know when there's new articles posted on my website. Also, if you like this recipe, you like what I do, please support me, buy me a beer or a coffee. Go to tfvc.org forward slash donate to know how you can support me. Go to tfvc.org forward slash Amazon and every purchase you make through Amazon will help support me as well. That's tfvc.org forward slash Amazon. It's winter in the Northern Hemisphere and a lot of people are getting sick. And one of my favorite things to eat when I'm sick is the old classic chicken noodle soup. Now I have veganized the recipe and I want to share that with you today. Do you want to know how to make this? All right, let's begin. The tools that you're going to need to make this vegan chicken noodle soup is a cutting board with a damp towel underneath, measuring cups and measuring spoons, a good sharp knife, a spoon to stir the soup, and a nice big thick pot. Now let's go ahead and go over the ingredients that we're going to need to make this vegan chicken noodle soup. One fourth cup of earth balance or melt vegan stick. This is half a stick. Two packages of vegan chicken that's been rough diced. This is the Guardian variety. One cup red onion that's been diced small to medium. One tablespoon minced garlic. One bay leaf. One cup of carrots that's been small to medium diced. And I kept it rustic. I left the skin on. A lot of nutrition is right underneath the skin anyway. I tend not to peel my carrots. I just wash them first. One cup of celery that's small to medium rough diced. One cup of cremini mushrooms that's been sliced. Two teaspoons of fresh ground pepper, plus we may need some to taste. One teaspoon of salt, plus to taste. One teaspoon of grains of paradise. One eighth teaspoon of red pepper flakes. One quarter cup of nutritional yeast flakes. One tablespoon of fresh squeezed lemon juice. One sprig of fresh rosemary taken off the twig. Six sprigs of fresh thyme that's been taken off the twig. Two containers of vegetarian chickenless broth. Eight ounces or half a package of fettuccine nests that's been broken apart. And this is the fettuccine nest that I found. As you can see, they're in a nest and these will substitute for egg noodles. And these happen to not have any eggs in them. Make sure you read the ingredients that they don't contain any eggs. You will also need one quarter cup of finely chopped fresh parsley. Now we know what ingredients and tools we need to make this dish. Go ahead and gather them all up, get them prepared, and I'll meet you over at the stove. Have all your ingredients gathered up? Ready to cook? All right, let's go ahead and begin. I have my pot heating up. I'm gonna add the quarter cup of earth balance the vegan chicken, one tablespoon of minced garlic, one cup of red onion, one bay leaf, one cup of mushrooms, these are cremini sliced, one cup of celery, one cup of carrots, two teaspoons of fresh ground pepper, one teaspoon of sea salt, one eighth teaspoon of red pepper flakes, six sprigs of fresh thyme, one sprig of fresh rosemary. Go ahead and give this a stir. And I'm going to cook this until the red onions start to get translucent. So I'll see you back when the onions are translucent. The onions are now translucent. Now I'm going to add the one teaspoon of grains of paradise, one tablespoon of fresh squeezed lemon juice, one quarter cup of nutritional yeast flakes. I'm going to give this a quick stir. All right, now I'm going to bring my heat up to high and I'm going to add the two containers of vegetable broth. I'm going to give this another quick stir. Now I'm going to cover this and bring this up to a boil. And once it's at a boil, I'll see you back.
Our pot is at a full boil now. Add the fettuccine. We'll give this a stir. Now we'll let this cook for five minutes at a boil or until the pasta is nice and al dente. And you want to stir this occasionally in that five minutes. So I'll see you back when this is done. It's been five minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and try to dig out a noodle and taste it to see if it is ready. It is perfect. So I'm gonna shut off the heat. Add the quarter cup of minced parsley. Now let's go ahead and serve this. So I'll see you back over at the counter. All right, let's go ahead and serve this. Take a couple of ladles of the soup. Serve it just like that. Now we'll garnish it with a little bit of the fresh parsley. And this is what it's gonna look like when it's done. And the fun part of this recipe is whomever gets the bay leaf is the winner. Was it you? I really hope you enjoyed this recipe. And when you make it, let me know and share it with your friends and family on your favorite social media site. Tag me, hashtag the fat vegan chef. And speaking of social media, be sure to follow me. Just look for The Fat Vegan Chef. I'm on Twitter, Instagram, Pinterest, er, just about everywhere. Also, please tip me by buying a coffee or a beer. You can find out how by going to tfvc.org forward slash donate. A couple dollars really helps me feel good. If you shop on Amazon, you can help support me. Just go to my link, tfvc.org forward slash Amazon that will take you to Amazon and that will support me in the background. Also be sure to be notified when there are new recipes and new content up on the Fat Vegan Chef. I do post an occasional article or two and uh, those don't ever make it on YouTube or Daily Motion or the Vegan Life channel. Just go to tfvc.org forward slash sub, that's S-U-B, to be notified of new content. Thank you. Have a great day.